Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with Power, Season 6, Episode 4, Why Is Tommy Still Alive? We're going to go yeah. ahead and hit this recap real quick for you all. Sorry that this upload is going to be late, but we had a fun packed weekend yes, we with did. a whole lot of skit going on so we're just gonna get right into it y'all know how we do yeah. go ahead and rate the video thumbs up thumbs down don't even matter at this point you already been counted take it away hey man this guy doing episode was kind of all over the place um freaking this week man so i'm gonna try to take all these puzzle pieces put it together and let y'all know what we think but pretty much, this was a really, really good episode. It was. It, it was a Surprise really good it. episode. All right, so this episode, they give us some of the sixth sense. Except for, it wasn't Bruce Willis that Ghost was seeing. It was Angela Valdez. Hmm. So we see him get up, go in the bathroom, wash his face, come back into the room, and Angela's on the bed. So he went to apologize, and I'm so sorry that this happened to you. And she was looking at him like, bull skin. Hmm. You ain't as guilty as you say you are. And uh, she said, if you really was was really guilty about being in the game, you wouldn't be still working with Jason. Huh. If you was guilty about Raina's death, the QC project would be done. And if you was guilty about me, hmm. why is time is still alive? I said, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I said, okay, okay. here we go. <laughs> Pure Angela fashion, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm like, he, she was already controlling you, bro, when she was alive. And now she's still controlling you while she's dead. And then she had a nerve to hit him with this. You remember uh, you found out about the female witness? If that witness, if you found out if that was me, what would you have done? He would have killed you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, was, you was gone. So later in the episode, we see that pretty much Jason is still trying to collect this money from Ghost. Ghost is pretty much saying, bros, I'm going broke. I can't keep paying you, Jason. Because if I keep paying you, my club's going to go out of business. And they threatened to tell me, if you don't pay, we're going to pretty much put a bull in your head. He was like, well, if you kill me, you, know, you still don't get no money. So uh, you ain't going you ain't going to get no money. So I, like we've been saying, Jason needs to go. I still don't understand why a ghost have not took him out. I know he tried to get Tommy to work with him to do it. Maybe he just need to do it himself. Because, yeah, it's going to take both of them to take him out. Yeah. So... At one point in the episode, we see him talking to uh, Councilman Tate, saying, I need you to do a favor for me, brother. I need you to make some calls, and I need such and such street blocked off. I need you to get with the municipalities and get it blocked off for me. So the first thing Tate was like, okay, I can make some calls, but should there be something I need to know? Is anything going to come back on me? <laughs> he was like, no, I got this covered. So pretty much we... He yeah, he knew. So... Later in the episode, we saw Tommy come to the fellas and was like, hey, we got a big bonus. We got a shipment in. I don't need y'all to be late. Da, da, da. So when they go to make the shipments, the streets is blocked off because <laughs> Ghost got that junk set up. Because at first, I wasn't connecting the dots. So I was like, why, yeah, is was Ghost, like why is Ghost blocking these streets off like this? I'm like, it don't make no sense until it came. So Tommy, you know, he pretty much got smarter now. He got back in the ambulance. <laughs> he didn't get smarter. His daddy taught him. To, yeah. His daddy came in his life for 55 but, seconds and taught him a whole lot. Gave him that the value power piece. of fathers. So here he go, driving out. He talking about some grimace. Said, we blocked off. We ain't blocked off. He was like, we Moses. Let my people go. <laughs> Tom is ignorant. <laughs> so they just clear this, clear the path. They come through there. And then we see ghosts. Run into the goddamn truck. I was like, what ghost get ready to do? What yeah. ghost? And I was like, y'all don't see him? Nobody sees him. Yeah, but anyway, this is TV. So, ghost get in the truck, and he puts the pedal to the metal and runs right into the goddamn ambulance. He gets out and takes some shots at Tommy now. I said he won't try to kill Tommy because no. he, he really could have like, killed, killed Tommy if he wanted. Ghost ain't, ghost aim it to ain't that off. I think he was just sending a message. Mm -hmm. Cause at first we actually thought that he was doing the hit for Jason. But once we find out the hit was not for Jason cause Jason came to the club and was like, bruh. So you trying to take my man up? I like you, man. I like your style. I like the way that you move. Matter of fact, you need to go ahead and take out Tommy. <laughs> and, and then this be you. And then you can be the disho and all your money problems gonna go away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, true. <laughs> but Ghost is like, I, I took and told you 
I'm out the game. I don't care if you tell me about time is freaking uh, uh, distribution for the next five years, 10 years, 20 years. I am not getting back in the game. So pretty much it put a bullet in my head. If not, get out of my club pretty much. <laughs> And mind you, Dre was there ear hustling this entire conversation. Yeah, he was. And I was like, mm. Yeah. So <laughs> that leads that leads me to the next point that Proctor came over to pay pay uh the uh, pay Ghost a visit and brought Dre. And soon as Dre bumped in the door, got gone, Ghost went ham on that sucker and pinned him up against the wall, had a pin. It's like Proctor, why you bring him in here like that for? I said, that's what I call on-site. When on somebody site. say, I'm whooping your A on-site, <laughs> Ghost was an on-site, mm, on-site. But we know Proctor, he always thinking 10 steps down the road, was like, hey, we can use Dre to spin this story so we can get y'all off of this goddamn Rico investigation so y'all won't go to jail. So we're going to get Dre to go back and tell them that we're clean, such as, which I know they ain't going to believe Dre, but... Dre was scared out of his mind. Mm -hmm. And Ghost was like, why in the world do I need to believe that you're going to help us? Because this, this joke is always lying. And what's your, what's your motive? And he was like, they got my daughter. So even the thugs got a weakness. Either it's his mama yeah, or, they, or, or, they, or their kids mm -hmm. is their weakness. So we saw in the episode that Dre pretends that he's on their side. But we see that he's still working he's with still Sal. Dre. Yep, he's a dinosaur. So, in the office, Ghost told him, when you go and talk to the feds, you're going to wear a while. And I'm going to listen. And if you say anything, <laughs> on site. I, I'm going to take this pen and I'm going to put it in your skull. <laughs> and I'm going to call my name <laughs> from the inside. So, what the plan was, uh, Dre went and talked to the feds, uh, which was Saks. Mm -hmm. He told him that Ghost was clean. So, later in the episode, we saw that Drake uh, had followed Sax to the witness house, which is Maria, the one that's supposed to be testifying against Ghost. Because so, Dre gave them that if because Ghost was like, what the fuck is Dre doing? Why is he yeah. giving up this kind of image? But that was, that was a smart move. Yeah. That he brought up the name so that Sax would go ahead and find the girl so yeah. that he would figure out where she is. Exactly. I said, that was real smooth. I like how he did that. Yep, that was too smooth. And then we seen that he went, he was him and Dre was in the office, he get the gun, and I was like, okay, Ghost is fitting to go. Bust a cat in somebody. So he takes her, takes him over to Maria's house, and she is scared out of her mind. I was mm -hmm. like, is Ghost getting ready to take this girl out? I thought she was gone. Yeah, and and what he ended up doing, which y'all saw, he ended up paying her off, saying, I'm gonna give you a second chance. And Dre was like, what the fuck? Hmm. Ghost ain't gonna kill her? But mind you, he's still talking to Sax on text and saying that Ghost is strapped. And uh, just before Ghost was getting ready to, to, uh, to leave, he texts her again, texts him back again, call off the feds because the feds is on their way. Yeah, they were. I said, Dre, you, to, I said, Dre, you fitting to die tonight because if Ghost come out there. And feds out. And feds out there. Yeah. Show tell. You done. So he come out there looking all nervous. He, he looking around. He get in the truck. And he see the feds in the freaking uh, rear view mirror. And I was like, I think Ghost saw them. He saw them. Because he looked at Dre like this out of his side eye, and I was like, okay. Uh -huh. He know. He know. Yep. He know. So, now we see uh, Tommy gets a text from Keisha huh? that his mama is over at the loft. And she over there because her apartment needs to get fumigated. <laughs> A.K.A. I'm getting put out. Yeah. Uh, and Tom was like, says the woman that smokes all these cigarettes. <laughs> so, so you don't want that to damage your lungs? Yeah, because you know how selective we are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, we healthy about some stuff and some other stuff we don't give uh -huh. a fuck. So he ended up uh, putting her on Keisha. And Keisha was like, you mother. Mm. And uh, she said, did I ever tell you about uh, uh, Tommy's ex? Because she didn't cook. She didn't cook. I was like, here she go. I said, Kate, get on somewhere with this food she is now. Here she go in it. So we saw that she was trying to eventually tell her about Holly. But Cash walked in the door, all silent, walking. All. He even got his tail whooped and got his, his freaking book bag taken. Hmm. And instantly she kicked into mama mode. Because you know if you mess with them boys, them mamas the is going to go. Ham. 
They will they will lose it all. For them boys. Yes. <laughs> I don't care. It could be their last two dollars. They gonna give it. He done went to jail for selling drugs, but not my boy. My, uh -huh. my not my good son did he a do good that. Person. He good. <laughs> so Kate tells Keisha, you shouldn't do that because that's gonna mess up. That could come back and mess up Tommy's business. I was like, Kate, Tommy be messing up his own business. <laughs> I was like, Keisha ain't got to do that. Yeah. So she was like, if this was time to came back and look what you would do. She was like, I'll go out there and whoop some high pot. <laughs> so later in the episode, we saw Tommy come back home and she fixed him his favorite lasagna, had him a beer, and she had a glass of wine. And she was like, <laughs> <laughs> Kate is mess. I want to talk to you about Keisha. He said, let Mom. me stop you right there, Ma. I don't want to hear nothing else you got to say. <laughs> So she was like, I'm going to tell you, Keisha is not good for you. She's going to put cash before you every time, which she should. Yeah, she should. Yeah, that don't mean that she's not down with him, which we know he, she she ain't right. So Kate she's was right. She's down, but she's ill-equipped. Yeah, she's not ready. So Tom was like, you know what? You know, you know, overstage your welcome. It's time for you to get up out of here, Mom. Get. Said, she he done pushed her out. He said, I hate that effing lasagna. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> So you ain't had to talk to your mama like that. Yeah, you ain't had to talk to her so hard like that. But you know how they are. They real dysfunctional. So now we have... Uh, now let's let's talk about Mr. Proctor. Oh, man. Yeah. So we saw at one point in the episode, Mr. Proctor is sitting down with Sax. And they arguing. You know, Sax always coming with his manipulation bullshit. Was saying that pretty much Lindsay pretty much got this custody thing in the bag. Hmm. She said... He said, the judge is going to look at it like this. You are the investigation for conspiracy of killing a federal agent. Hmm. But Lindsay done got her license. She get ready to become a, a lawyer. And she going to be on our side. So who do you think he going to favor? So instantly, you can see his wheels start turning like, true. <laughs> so we saw the episode where he ended up coming over to Lindsay's house. She was late. She was been there 11, but it was 12. But we see him slide a letter into her mailbox. And I was like, the uh -huh. hell did he do? So she walk in the house. They walk in the house. She opened up the letter. And you can see him looking at her. And her face just goes crazy. She's like, oh, my God. But I was like, don't you know that you passed? Was you really waiting on a letter to say you didn't pass? Because y'all been selling the story like she had passed. And, yeah. And she I would think. Bag, even if she failed, she passed. Yeah. So, yeah. So that, yeah, that that didn't make any sense in that part. But I understood. But she probably thought that they had crossed her. Yeah. So, Prophet was saying, you know what? I'm proud of you. <laughs> you know, you got your life together. You done got your license. I done got my life together. Matter of fact, I got a see, new woman in my life. See that? And it's my assistant at the office. And better yet, I got a ring for you. Like it? <laughs> and Lindsay was like, no. no. And you could just slowly see her just breaking. Just yeah. breaking on down. Breaking. Because she was like, you lying. You don't care nothing about me pretty much. So Proctor goes to leave and he looked back. And you could see in her eyes, she was waiting to get a hit. Like, I can't, I can't handle... What I just yeah, heard. I can't handle all this stuff. And instantly, she relapsed. Bam! I mean, she was searching. Yeah, she was up searching. Up and down. It reminded me of Jamal on um, Empire when he was trying to, yeah. <laughs> when he was trying to get them pills out that pipe. I said, oh my God. I said, Kate, no, no, no. No, don't do Kate. it. What's don't. Lindsay. Lindsay, don't I said, do it. No, I keep no, on thinking of Kate, too. She looks like a Kate. Yeah, she do. So, in the episode, we saw that uh, his daughter gave him a call because... Lindsay was on one. She was high as a kite. And she in there rehearsing all the bar questions. She was like, da 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 And Proctor walked in. She was like, hey, hey, hey. I know what I did wrong in the test. The, those MET questions, I, I, I know what to do. I can retake the test. You I can just like the them. test. You look just like them. <laughs> and I said, ooh, Proctor. Like, Proctor, Proctor did you really? Did you do that to her? I, I know y'all had y'all beef. But this is still the mother of your daughter, man. And mind you, he had sent his daughter upstairs yeah. so that he can deal with her. And I was like, how is he going to deal with her? Yeah. But we saw how that turned out. And she ended up overdosing right in his face. And he didn't even call 911. He just called 911. 911. 
And then we saw they pan the camera over to the unicorn. But I'm like, even if they get that, that's not going to be admissible in court because you can't be courting nobody without their knowledge. Well, we were talking about that today. I know that yeah, if you on a phone right. call, you can't record nobody without telling them that you're being recorded. So I, I, I hope that same thing is true in the federal law, but they be putting bugs on people to set people up. So I don't understand how they can do that and use that in court. Yeah. So he was like, that's what you get. You're not going to take my daughter. But I was like, why did you go about it like that? That I mean, now you acting like ghosts and timing them now. He ain't been around them long enough. Yeah. <laughs> so now we got Tasha. So she done got her spot looking good. It's not fully open. But uh, this dude named Quint, uh, his name is Q. Quentin. Quentin. He comes in because he worked in construction. He needs a daycare for his four-year-old daughter. Something is off about that dude. Yeah. So, they got to talking, and what really got me was, when they, when they started talking about ghosts, he started asking, like, where is he now? It's like, why aren't you asking about where her, you just met her. You're mm -hmm. supposed to be coming there to get, an application. to get an application for your daughter to go to daycare, but you asked him to where about, so I think he's an FBI plant. Something ain't right. <clears throat> yeah, so I think he's an FBI plant. So... Uh, we see later in the episode that they start getting romantical because he come back. Hmm. I said romantical. Yes, I romantical. Did. Yeah, right, romantical. He comes <laughs> back, try to invite her out to dinner. She was like, I don't like bars. Well, he asked to go to the bar. She said, I don't like bars, but hey, I got this wine right here. <laughs> so they started drinking wine. One thing led to another. And they said, you know, clothes started coming off. And I, I was like, no, Tasha, no, no, don't, no, don't Tasha. start. Don't, don't. No. You know, he was the love of my life. What happened to that lad from last week? Yeah. It's like, don't. So, uh, pretty much midway in, she was like, no, I can't do that. He said, I, 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 I respect that. So, which further lets me know that something is up. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> yeah, something, something is up. Something is up with this dude. Because we saw at one point when Gosa came to the back to the came to the daycare and she conf he confronted Tasha that you took the pretty much Raina's trust money to, to get this daycare. Why did you do that? She was like, Well, you went behind my back and dissolved this trust. Name? Yeah, so she he took that money and gave that money to Jason. <laughs> so she was like, You talking about going behind my back? You've been doing it the whole time we've been together. He said, Well, I was the one who made the money. I said, Oh, ghost. But here come Q on point, which let me know further know that he is some kind of plant. Because <laughs> how he come in exactly right after Ghost come in there. And so Tasha tried to slide him on out there and Ghost was greeting him down hard. I mean, I said, okay, Ghost. And said, yeah. Okay. <laughs> said, you don't want him, but you don't want nobody else to Very want Very territorial. I or. Said, Look, you know what happened to the last person he caught your wit? Uh-huh. <laughs> so he, 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 he turned up dead. <laughs> so. Uh, I, either either he jealous or he realized that that boy is a plan. What's one? I think it's jealous. Think he jealous? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know how the fellas is. You know you you just can't picture your woman with her hind parts in the air and somebody else. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that just that just mess that just mess your head up. I don't know what kind of bus get Tariq is on. Oh, Tariq done went and then stole from his Uncle Tommy. Now, I didn't think he would do that. I didn't either. Because he, he has so much respect for his Uncle Tommy, but I understand there's no loyalty amongst the drug dealers, man. But I'll be honest, when he when I first saw him climbing in that window, I thought he was over there where um, the Vince's was Yeah, at. me too. And I was like, dude, yeah, he was over there at Tommy's warehouse. Yep. Stealing his skit. And I kinda, we kind of got scared because right when he was stealing the pills, um, two bit spanky and Grimace come walking in there talking skit about time. We were like, hey, time got us through all this hazardous stuff. We need some hazardous thing. So I was like, they gonna see Tariq and they gonna blow his head off. Mm -hmm. And so Tariq was trying to sneak out. I said, he gonna end up turning something over. They gonna hear it and they gonna shoot him. But he got out. I was like, Ghost Junior. So later in the episode, we saw that Tommy went over and was talking to Vincent, like, you know what? I got a whole lot of weight. And my men don't have the time to push this weight. Once you help me push some of this weight, Vince was like, hey, I got the best product in town, not you. And I, I don't need to help you push your weight because I'm good. I got a dish stroke. And he goes behind the goddamn counter and throws a pill. And Tyler was like, huh, where the hell you get this? Where the hell you get this from? 
He was like, uh, I don't tell people what I get get and get my supply. <laughs> Tommy was like, I know cause these are mine. Where you get them from? And Tommy instantly put it together. And so did Vincent. That it was Tariq. And so we saw that Tommy uh went over there and he confronted Tariq uh about just like, where'd you get these? And Tariq, just quick. like his daddy, quick on quick. his feet, I got him for Canaan. I was like, God, because no, I thought he was going to admit well, that I came dead, and stole them from you. Well, the dead can't um, defend itself, so. Yeah. Yep, so he stopped. So Tommy told him the drug game ain't for you. Like, he said, matter of fact, you got a good thing going on down here at this school. You got a fountain out there that's bigger than the apartment <laughs> that I lived in when I was growing up. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got it. You, this, this, this drug game ain't for you. That's like we've been saying the whole time. He, uh -uh. he don't need He just, he a good kid trying to be bad. Pretty much. So he promises Uncle Tommy that I'm getting out. I'm not doing this no more, which is bullshit because we end up sending him back over at Vincent's. And Vincent was like, hey, bro, huh. you got something to tell me? No. <laughs> and Tariq act like he know what you're talking about. So he ended up slamming his face on a goddamn bar and pretty much, I know that you got your, this stuff from Uncle Tommy, but I don't care who you are. I know you Ghost's son. I don't care. What I need you to do, I need double the weight. I, I said, said, God, oh, don't. No. How he gonna do that? Steal it. Again. You think he fitting to go back into Uncle Tommy? He and steal got it? to. He got to. Dad going into the only other way is to get it straight from Jason. Yeah. So, I, I, I don't know. So, the guy was like, we need to kill him. He know too much about us. And he was like, Vincent was like, I'm gonna use him. He reminds me of myself. When yeah, I was a he reminds myself of a little boy, and I turned out all right. <laughs> I said, "Did you?" So he said, "This is my opportunity to control his daddy and Tommy. and Tommy, and I'm gonna use this to my advantage." I was like, "Oh hell, this it, it is about to go down. It's getting crazy." All because Tariq wanna be a little thug out here in these streets. Yep, and like we say, every time Ghost tries to get out of the game. So he's trying to work it out with Jason, but behind his back, Tariq got something going on with Vince. So even if he get out with Jason, now he got <laughs> freaking Vince and he got to deal with, and he don't even know it yet. Nope. Because if I, pretty sure if he get a whiff, first he gonna if he get a whiff that Tariq is working with Vince. First he gonna blame Tommy. Yeah, he gonna blame Tommy, and then he's gonna go off at Tariq. And Tariq been disrespectful anyway, so he ain't gonna listen to what Ghost got to say anyway. Mm -hmm. So he's still gonna do what he want to do, just like his daddy. So at the end of the episode, we saw that uh, Ghost is back in the confessional <laughs> with Angela. Mm. Was like, I'm a changed man. I'm good now. I ain't a killer no more. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, why? You not a killer no more. Cause she said, I had Maria right in my hand. I could have killed her. But I let her go. Huh. And she looked at him and said, But you will. But you will. I said, ooh. Ooh. So what I'm thinking what's gonna happen is a speculation that Maria is not gonna leave town. I don't think she's leaving either. And she's gonna stay right there. Which is stupid. And gonna gonna try to still go and testify against Ghost because her fiance got killed it. Got killed it up. Got, my grandma got, got, got killed it up. But if I was her, take your money and run. Bye. Run. I said, dang. Dang it. But like I said, this is overall was a good episode. It, it was, was it was all over the place. Like we said, Ghost could have had killed Tommy. Because, uh, matter of fact, when he was beside the, bed, beside the bed with Angela, he said, I need to let you go, and I need to let Tommy go. And I was like, is ghost, did, ghost, did the ghost find Jesus? Yeah, he went to church. <laughs> so he trying to get his life right, old Deacon Ghost. <laughs> but you remember, who, you know who I, um, who I miss, man? Father Callahan, man. Yeah, man, yeah. Dre ain't had to do, do him like that. that. Nah. Why did he kill Father Dre, Dre always messed up, but Dre gonna be dead. Dre gonna be the next one dead. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. Cause once you don't cross over on Ghost and he know you did it, mm -hmm. and you playing both sides of the fence. Yep. Yeah. But Ghost gonna use him up first though. He has to. Yeah, he gonna use he him up. To. So yeah, he gonna use him up. Yep. But that is y'all. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty self. To uh.
Holla! Last time for us gonna be with time. Hey.